Hey guys, welcome to an open source options tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to calculate geometry, specifically how to calculate polygon areas in QGIS. This same procedure also works to calculate the length of lines. So let's just go ahead and get started. You'll notice here that I have the shape file, a shape file of the United States loaded up. You can get this for free from the US Census Bureau. Um, you can also get this. This comes with the course, my QGIS for Beginners course, if you want the data uh, and instructions there. So let's go ahead and open up our attribute table to start off. And you can see here we have a number of attributes. Um, I don't know what all these mean. You can see we have an ID number, um, the U.S. Postal Service code, the name, and some, some numerical columns here. What I want is I want to know the area of each of these states. And so we can do that very easily with QGIS. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the field calculator, which I can use control I to open it or it's abacus icon. I can click it here on the attribute table. It's also up here uh, in the main window on the, what toolbar is this? not telling me but it's on this toolbar here the selection tool no it's, not selection. it's the attributes toolbar you can open the field calculator from there or from the attribute table I'll open it from the attribute table here and now you'll get a window that looks like this now there's a few things uh, we need to go over here so first you can create a new field this will create a new column in your attribute table you can also update an existing field with this. Um, we don't have an area column here, and so we're going to create a new field. My output field name, I'm going to name it area, and the units are going to be in square meters. Now, I know this because I've tested this to make sure I do it right for you guys. Um, you'll want to check this before you actually maybe name your field with units, and I'll show you how you can check it. The output field type, we want a decimal number, a real number. And we can leave these defaults here the same. Okay, now I know it can be a little, um, what's the right word? Maybe scary or a little daunting to use an expression. Um, we're writing a little bit of code here. It's not hard. We actually don't have to write any code. We can use uh, all the preset functions over here. Okay. So let's go to the geometry option here. You'll see this geometry option in our window here. I'm going to go to geometry. And you can see this dollar sign area. When we click on these, we get uh, a brief explanation. When you're calculating area in QGIS, you always want to use the function that begins with a dollar sign. Okay, I'm not going to get into the other function. We're just going to use the dollar sign function. It returns the area of the current feature. That's all we need to know. Don't worry about the rest of this. Now, let's say you're using lines and you want to calculate length. Let's scroll down. You can see we have a length option here. Now, this probably, I guess it's the length of a border of a polygon, but you want to use perimeter instead for a polygon. So, length is for lines. If you want the the length of a polygon outline, use perimeter. We're going to do area though. Okay, so let's go up to area. And if we just double click on area, you can see it adds it to our expression. Now you'll also notice down here that we have a preview that it's uh, previewing here for Alabama, and we can see we have this number, that's our output. And the way we can check to see what units this is in is uh, I'm gonna open up the internet here, and I'm going to search for the area of Alabama. And you can see it's about 52,500 square miles. Now let's go, oh, let's, sorry. Let's do this again. Area of Alabama. Okay, and let's open up a new tab and let's type convert 
square meters to square miles. Let's come back over to QGIS. Let's copy this number. And then let's go back to the internet and convert it. Okay. And so we have 51,700 versus 52,400. So we're off by about 700 or yeah, 700 square miles. That's acceptable because depending on the projection we're using, it could cause potentially that much error. And depending on how these are defined, it could cause that much error. Uh, we can go check another one if we want to, just to be sure. And I suggest maybe we do that. So let's choose like an inland state like Utah or Wyoming. Um, let's try Utah. And so we get this here. Let's copy this. And let's go back to the internet. Copy that in. So we've got just about 85,000 square miles. Let's go area of Utah. And you can see here that we're very, very close. Like that's 84,898, and that's 84,899. That's just a rounding error at this point, right? So we're really close. We're getting this in the right units. That's what we wanted to know. Okay, so let's go back to QGIS. Now that we know this is correct, we're creating our new field. We can click OK. All right. Now one thing to notice here is look over here. You'll notice editing mode is turned on. Right there. Okay, and I should be able to zoom in on that for you. So you can see the editing mode is turned on. We want to go ahead and turn that off so we don't make any more changes. So we can click Save Edits, turn off editing mode, and let's go open our attribute table back up. Let's go check at the end. And there we have our area square meters right there. So you can see that we have that all ready to go. So now we have the area of each of those states and we could do some symbolization by area if we would like to do that. So there you have it. That's how you can calculate geometry in QGIS. That same method works for calculating length of lines and the perimeter of polygons. I hope you found this useful. If it was useful, please feel free to click the like button. Um, as always guys, I appreciate your support. And if you want the data that came with this lesson, go check out the QGIS for Beginners course on opensourceoptions.com.